month as Fox 25 fights cancer. We're highlighting colorectal cancers. They're some of the deadliest cancers for Americans and doctors tell Fox 25's Dan Snyder it's vital you get screened. Promotional consideration for the following is provided by the Oklahoma Proton Center. It's probably not the first cancer that comes to mind. There aren't any anti-smoking campaigns to prevent it or marathons honoring those who survive it. But colorectal cancers can form as an unseen time bomb in almost anyone. According to the National Cancer Institute, colorectal cancers account for 8% of all estimated cancers diagnosed last year. That's the fourth most of any cancer. But colorectal cancers are also the second deadliest, according to that same data, claiming an estimated 53,000 Americans in 2020. Sadly, doctors say many of these deaths are likely preventable. If caught early, we can, we can prevent um, the, the vast majority of colon cancer. That starts with getting people screened, but that also brings doctors to their first and maybe biggest hurdle. I consider the colonoscopy the gold standard. The gold standard is, is, colon, is screening colonoscopy. Colonoscopies can be, well, difficult to get people to buy into. There's a lot of prep, you have to be sedated, and it is by nature invasive. Well, it's easy for somebody to come in when they're feeling sick. You know, you give them a medicine or some sort of a treatment and they end up feeling better, but you're, you're actually going to make them momentarily feel worse by doing this procedure to them. And so it's, uh, you know, it's just a hard sell for people that feel normal. But the doctors stress this is the best option. If they find polyps, doctors say they can remove most of them during that procedure. If you come back all clear, you're good for about 10 years. And the key to warding off this cancer is spotting it early. When they're caught early, surgery is a cure. But the doctors say about 35% of people still aren't getting their colonoscopies by age 50. And that can have deadly consequences. Instead of a, a stage one or two colon cancer that carries a very good prognosis, it could be an advanced stage three or four, and, and in those patients, the, the cure rate, if you will, is not uh, very good. Dan Snyder reporting there. Some doctors are also moving the recommendation for your first colonoscopy up to age 45 as the cancer is being detected in younger people. And if colon cancers run in your family, you'll likely need to get checked even earlier. So keep that in mind.